So how many times have you come up with an excuse for not working out or letting your eating get way out of control? Fitness coach Donovan Green says you have to stop making excuses if you're serious about losing weight and achieving your fitness goals. Donovan, welcome to Talk of the Town. Hi, thank you for having me. It feels good to be here. You're Dr. Oz's personal fitness coach, as well as a coach for millions of folks on DrOz.com, so you really know what you're talking about. I want to know, does Dr. Oz ever give you a lame excuse or just say, I don't feel like working out today? <laughs> no, actually, no. Dr. Oz is the real deal. He is the real deal. No excuses. He gets it done. He puts a smile on my face every single time. That's good. All right, well, help us break through our excuses. How do we break those bad habits? Well, breaking bad habits, that's the big thing, is breaking those bad habits. One of the first things I, I love telling people is to start looking at your bad habits, finding out where those bad habits came from, and then start to reintroduce better habits into your daily activities or your daily lifestyle. One of the best things is if you love to drink soda, for example, instead of drinking the whole can of soda, you know what? You take half of that soda, you put it into a glass, and then fill the other half with water. So now you have your bad habit halfway down, and you're introducing something better, such as water, into that bad habit. As time goes, now that bad habit begins to go behind you, and now your new habit takes over. So it's finding the better ways. That's it, finding better things to do. All right, show us some things that we can do exercise-wise for folks who maybe haven't ever started an exercise plan or need to get back onto it. How do we do some effective exercises? Oh, great, great, great question. So right now I'm sitting on one of the best tools on the planet, the chair, the chair. What can you do in a chair besides sitting down? You can take your hands from this position and just bring in front of your chest and come back out. You're squeezing your chest muscles and also working your back as you pull back behind you. Another great thing is putting your hands behind your head and coming up and alternating to opposite knees. You're working your obliques, your abdominals, your quads, you're working your back, your shoulders. You're working all of these different things. And guess what? Equipment free. And you can do it anywhere. In front of your desk, you can do it on the couch, anywhere. And it's simple and fun. That sounds like something we can all do while <laughs> yeah. we're watching Talk of the Town, which is great. Yeah, right now. <laughs> Once we start seeing some results, sometimes we have those plateaus, and that gets so frustrating because you feel like you're working so hard, but you're not making any progress. How yeah. do you break through a plateau? Well, breaking plateaus, in my book, No Excuses Fitness, I'm talking about that a lot because that's one of the biggest problems. Plateaus, if you're working out really hard, sometimes you have to actually back down on your intensity. And the opposite goes for if you're working out too soft, sometimes you have to increase your intensity. So it's looking at your workout patterns, your eating patterns, what are your lifestyle habits, what are you doing that's good, or what are you doing that you can actually make better, and then make it better. You know, add new things into your recipes, add new things into your exercise, and that will take that plateau and get that plateau out of here. And you will begin to feel better and look better. You have some great recipes in your book, too, some of them based on your Jamaican heritage, which yes. I think is great. So what do we need to be eating for optimum health? Optimum health really breaks down to the simplest foods. That's what I call nature's foods. That is your fruits, your vegetables, of course your water, and your grains. Those are some of the most important, the staple of health. That's the most important things that I find that anyone that I talk to once they introduce more vegetables and more fruits and more grains into their diets and start to exclude the processed foods, they feel better, not just looking better. They feel better. That's what we all want. Donovan, I love your energy. Thanks so much for visiting with us today. Awesome. Thank you, and have a fantastic day. Thank you very much. You can find more eating and exercise tips in Donovan's new book, No Excuses Fitness.